gold medal in this Sander sparring gold medal session. The Islamic Republic of Iran looking for their first. And they have their best chance yet in Ali Horshid Arabi, a former Wushu world champion in this weight class from 2019. That was when the championships were held in China, in Shanghai. And he faced Chinese opposition that day as well in Tao Lu Yan. Just the one match under his belt. He won it by points gap. That means he was so dominant over his opponent that he stretched his lead to more than 12 points, stopping the fight instantly. Lu Wenlong in the blue is from the Henan University, 1,200 kilometers east of where we are now in the city of Zhengzhou, just below the Yellow River. Well, he's only got one fight under his belt as well because his semi-final was a walkover. Kao Fei Long of Macau, China, unable to present, which meant that Lu was automatically into this final. If it is to be a fourth goal for China, this will be the hardest earned of the lot because Korshi Darabi represents a formidable challenge. Korshi Darabi of Iran in the red. Lu Wen Long of China is in the blue. Korshi Darabi is a flurry fighter. He delivers repeated multiple blows in a blaze of legs and fists, often followed by a takedown. If he gets in that kind of mood, his points can rack up quickly. For Lu Wenlong of China, the need to avoid that is paramount, and he's already under pressure. Oh, that's both fighters off the platform. So Korshid Arabi not as controlled as he needed to be. Also lost his headgear, which in certain circumstances can be a point to your opposition. But a marker laid down nonetheless. Back to it from the middle. Korshid Arabi gets around the head. He'll look for a takedown throw from there. Front kick providing a bit of space. Now Lou looks the more composed of the two at the moment. Korshid Arabi does look the more dangerous, but he could also get caught here if Lou plays a clever and careful fight. No doubt in the danger of the Iranian here. has that world champion tag from 2019, Korshid in the red. Oh, he's been lifted up here and dumped on the canvas. And he was caught, brilliantly so, by Lu, who goes again. It's a double takedown. The second one only scoring one point as he went to the floor himself. But Korshid Arabi stung. He walked into it. And that should give Lou all the confidence he needs. Little nibble to the leg from Korshir Arabi, whose momentum has been stifled somewhat. And the Iranian now looks a little slow, but he'll still land the two there. His first takedown, and nicely done. Now he's being taken by both legs once more, and he's put to the floor. And I wonder how much Korshid Arabi's been able to view the previous fights of Lu Wenlong, because he didn't compete in the semi-finals, this Chinese fighter. It was a walkover. So maybe Korshid Arabi's not aware of Lu's ability in the takedown to go for the missile to the leg approach, which Lu is so happy to do and scored twice off it.
keeps himself square as so many Iranians do. Doesn't mind about making the target for himself that little bit bigger. But when he keeps himself square, of course, it allows Lou to size him up for a double leg takedown. Much easier to hit someone square for that than on the side angle. It's bold, but is it that wise from Korshid Arabi? So how does judges score this one? No one has beaten a Chinese fighter in a round yet today, and still that remains. Lu winning the round unanimously. In some cases by a margin as low as three points, but some by over ten points. So first round to Lu Wenlong and to China. Wonderful takedown from Lu Wenlong. The best we've seen today in truth with both legs being lifted up. Same again, good job for Lu Wenlong. He knows what's coming. Can he tough things out against this former world champion? Porsche Arabi, a dangerous man when it comes to combinations, however. He can keep you on your feet sometimes and rack up points. Lou wants to get in early and get another takedown. Oh, he's got the leg, Korshid Arabi, and he'll score the first two points of the second round. Close to the edge here, the Iranian. Being fought off the platform whilst your opponent stays on is two points to your opponent so he did well to stay on the field of play just wonder whether Korshid Arabi is gaming Lou somewhat with his uh, body language he looks tired but in that first round he looked tired as well and then stung his opponent with a takedown. So I don't think Lou can trust what he sees so much. <laughs> Makes himself a smaller target, Lou, than Korshida Rabi's gone in on the legs, but Korshida Rabi is countering and countering well. Much smarter defensive work from the Iranian leading his trunk forward to protect his legs from being whisked from underneath him he's got to score and keep scoring So, yellow card against uh, Korshid Arabi, that means a point to his opponent. 45 seconds remaining. Takes a punch to the head from Lu. That's a point to the Chinese fighter. He's keeping scoring, ticking over. A point scored from a clinch position. And to come apart and go again. A couple of attempts to get single points from leg attacks to the thighs. No one landing anything. Oh, he's gone low. And he's put him to the floor. 
With a trip. Another good work from Lu, and this is what we've seen from so many Chinese fighters. These final 10 seconds are when they take the fight away from their opponent, if there's any doubt at all. Lu Wenlong waits his turn, bides his time, and just knocks Koshila Raibi to the floor, to the end. And Lu Wenlong back to his corner for the victory. It's unanimous once more. Ali Koshila Rabi, unable to conjure his heroics of the World Championships in 2019 and defeat Chinese opposition in China. He has to settle for second best. It's a fourth gold of the session for the People's Republic of China. Lu Wenlong, on paper, had the most to do against Ali Korshirarabi. But a technically proficient performance, and he has the gold medal. Henan University have some gold heading back their way with Lu Wenlong. And that's a backflip which we would say is not out of place in Taolu or the patterns form of Wushu. But it was all combat for the two rounds. Koshida Rabi's brilliance at grabbing the front leg still on display, but the overall performance was too good from Lu Wenlong. And the Iranian running out of gas.